What's up guys, my name is Soggy Donuts here, and I'm going to show you how you can sync music to your iPod without ever using your computer, and download music of course. Alright, first thing you need to do is open up Cydia, download the application's iFile, Safari download plugin, and uh, PwnTunes, which just got released by Spirit of Logic, who also makes iReal SMS. A couple of those cost money, um, I'd recommend buying them. They're good, pretty good applications. Alright, first thing you need to do, uh, we need to set up iFile so that when you download the music it'll sync. So, open up iFile. Now, go back to the root folder, which is back up, and go to var, mobile, media, and you'll find the folder my music. That's where the music goes to get synced. We actually need to go to the library first, though, so our mobile media library. Um, if you've downloaded and installed the application, I said there should be a folder called Downloads. So, what we're going to do is click Edit up here in the top right, select Downloads, click this button in the bottom right here, little arrow, press copy slash link, done, back up, go into Media now, click Edit same button down here bottom right press create link this will pop up usually just press rename it doesn't matter press done now click this little blue arrow next to downloads one which is the one you just created a link to actually first we gotta click the arrow next to my music we need to rename it because we're gonna copy over it I'm just gonna put dot back that way I know it's a backup now rename the downloads and rename it to my music. Make sure it's just like that. That way you know that that it's the same. You just need to make sure it's just like that. Okay, so now you have my music is linked to downloads. So when you download something, it'll go to downloads, which will essentially go into my music. That way, when you sync it, it will work. So, go to Safari. Go to, go find a way to download some kind of song, MP3 file. It could be a it could be a RAR or a ZIP file. It doesn't matter, because you're going to eventually. If it's a RAR or ZIP file, though, you do need to go back in the iFile un and unrar it or un decompress whatever. Um, then you should just have to open up your thing. It'll import and your song should show up under purchased which all of these have because I have downloaded them or used to meet or phone music to install it I just downloaded this one and show you that it works so that's how I can go around download music and sing it to my iPod without ever using my computer F iTunes right? yeah alright this is Soggy Donuts bringing you this tutorial uh... hope you enjoyed